Hi, my name is Bethan Davis. I'm a glaciologist. I study glaciers and how they've changed both today and in the past and how they're going to change in the future. And I work at Newcastle University in England in the United Kingdom. Glaciers are fundamentally, at their simplest, they're a pile of ice. Every winter, it snows. If that snow doesn't melt over the summer, then that snow remains in a pile over the summer. If over a lot of summers that snow starts to build up, you've grown a glacier. Because glaciers build up year on year, if we go to the surface of the ice sheet, we can collect a core or a tube of ice and then we can look at those layers in the ice. Within those layers, we have little bubbles of gas. And those little bubbles of gas tell us exactly what the past composition of the atmosphere was. And they can go all the way back thousands and thousands of years and give us this long record of past climate change. I first became interested in glaciers because when I was 17, I was lucky enough to go to Iceland on a school's expedition. And I stood on the glacier and I thought, this is really cool. I really like this. This looks amazing. And that was me solved. And I went and studied geography at university and I did a PhD in glaciers. And that's all I've done ever since. There are lots of ways in which you can get involved in glaciology before you even studied for your degree. Maybe you can go on an expedition as part of Girls on Ice or Junior Iceworld Research Project or the British Schools Exploring Society. There's all sorts of different societies that take young people into the field and allow them to interact with glaciers. And that's a really great way to get some experience and start thinking about how you might want to train to become a glaciologist. I work on glaciers in lots of different places. Uh, I've worked on glaciers in Antarctica, also done an expedition to Svalbard. When I go to Antarctica, I am deployed deep field and I've been deployed from a ship and from a research base. And then we're camping in Antarctica for weeks at a time. We have to eat dehydrated food uh, and we have a radio that allows us to communicate with base and it's really kind of back to basics, simple living. A lot of the work I do builds on maths, physics, chemistry, biology even. Uh, so all of these kinds of science subjects are really important if you are interested in going to become a glaciologist. I'm in a geography department. So geography is obviously one of the world's most important subjects. Geography is all about our place in the world. English, reading and writing, no matter what career you go into, is going to be really important. And it's certainly a subject that I use a lot in my own career as well. Field work is really, really fun, but it doesn't have to be scary or difficult or hard or dangerous. And field work can be fun and enjoyable. Whenever I do field work, we work really hard to make it safe. And so you don't have to be hyper strong or really rugged. You don't have to be doing anything dangerous to be a glaciologist. Being a glaciologist is for everybody. We're a very diverse, welcoming uh, group of people who actively work to make our societies inclusive, friendly and welcoming. So come and join us and come and be a glaciologist. Thank you.